Just yesterday, the deputy president broke his silence over the multi-billion shillings Moi teaching and referral hospital saga, accusing code leader Raila Odinga and his associates of witch hunt. My friend, uh, the former prime minister and his PA must keep off from me. And if they are interested in a political duel, I am ready. Ruto went on to term the person at the center of the alleged scandal about to join a fraud star to con the public. My reputation is at stake, and so I feel compelled to respond. Juang today surfaced dismissing claims he was working in cohort with the opposition leader, Raila Odinga. I wish to reiterate that I stopped working for the right honorable prime minister more than 10 years ago. I went into private business and I do not see why his name is being dragged. And even as Ojuang protested, a number of Odinga's lieutenants came out guns blazing, daring the DP for linking the code leader to his troubles. William Ruto, he needs to stop blaming people. He has, from the time he left Kanu, left ODM, he is now in Jubilee. He is constantly blaming people, including now his own brothers, Isaac Ruto, Kidion Moy, and everybody for the wars he has on corruption. Raila is not Ruto's political equal. They don't play in the same league. And if Ruto is not going to stop these bad manners, we are going to take him head on. We are the ones who are his political equals, not Raila. To purport to challenge Raila to a political duel is really, is really. To, 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 to do the unthinkable, in our view. It appears that the battle of wit pitting Ruta and Odinga ahead of 2017 general elections has just begun. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.